And one of the things that I love to tell people is what we do, unfortunately, is we walk out and we wear masks all mm. day, every day. Mm -hmm. And so I like to put it in terms of color, right? Okay. So say I, on the inside, who I am at my core is really a soft, sensitive, vulnerable person who's highly intimate, who needs that cuddling, who needs that affection. I'm seeing lilac. Oh, okay. That's well, let's go with lilac. Here we go. Yes. But I'm afraid to be taken advantage of. Okay. I've been taught either through conditioning or through my own experiences that the world is a scary place, that people will take advantage of you if you let them, and so you can't show the world that. So every day I put on a mask. What color do we gonna? Red. Okay, so every day I put it, right? on this okay, red yes. mask, right? And this version of me is strong, it's hard, it's independent, it doesn't need anybody, it's standoffish, mm. because I'm protecting myself. So if I walk out every day wearing a red mask, who am I going to attract? Oh, People red. that are attracted to red. So I'm going to be in relationship with people who are attracted to red, but meanwhile, my needs are gonna be unmet because I'm really lilac. And so I'm gonna sit in this relationship unhappy and miserable and unfulfilled because the individuals that I should be with who would be attracted to lilac will pass me by every day. Holy cow, I, like, I, I mean, I have to <laughs> pick my jaw off off the floor because yeah. I've never heard anyone describe it yeah. like that. Yeah, and so the hard part is if you really want to find the person that you're compatible with, you have to be brave enough to show up. So not only can you attract them, but you can choose them because we're constantly choosing the people that we bring into our life. Mm. Everything is a series of choices, but if what you see out there does not resonate, you're gonna choose from the candidates that are in front of you. So when it comes to somebody that's a fit, Mm -hmm. compatibility. You yeah. say that there are signs yes. to look for. What are yes. they? Okay, so they are big ones. And what it's really about is intimacy. And I tell couples, it's a really easy acronym. Some relationships rise, some relationships fall. You want one that rises. Now, can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. When you say the word intimacy, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Intimacy means in to me see into my deepest, most vulnerable parts. How well do you know me? How well am I showing up in those spaces? And when I show you who I am at my core, do we really line up? So you said relationships rise or they yes. fall, and there are five kinds of intimacy. Yes. So what are they? Okay, so this is an acronym. This is how you remember this. So the R stands for recreational intimacy, doing things together. So if I'm a type A person, I love skydiving, I love hiking, I'm kayaking. Do you love those things too? Do we line up? It's important because if you're a person who says, well, I hate all that, I'd rather spend my nights watching TV cuddled up. Mm -hmm. Well, then we don't necessarily have a high level of recreational compatibility. Got it. So that's important. Okay. The I is intellectual intimacy. Do we feed each other? Can we have conversations if I love that intense stimulation? Can we go from politics to sports to world events to geography? And can you meet me there and do you enjoy it? Or do we say, why are you so intense all the time? Why do we have to talk? Can we just kind of sit and be? Those things are important. The S is spiritual intimacy. And this is different than religion. We okay. don't have to have the same religion. But do we see our concept of the world, of creator, of how we exist as, as global citizens? Do we see ourselves the same? Mm. So spiritually, are we connected? Do we grow and nurture each other and feed each other in that space? Or do we make each other feel small or shrink or question our own spiritual growth? Hmm. So that's important. Okay. The E is emotional intimacy. Are we warm and fuzzy? Do I really feel like you get me? Do I feel safe and vulnerable? I'm or, or am I more like kind of a cactus? Listen, I don't need all that touchy, feely, emotional stuff. Be tough, be strong. And then that last S, it's last, but it's definitely not least, sexual intimacy. Do we like the same things? Do we light each other's fire? Are we into the same kinds of exploration? Or are we both conservative? Mm. Are we talking about it in terms of how much sex we want? How often do we show up and feed each other in that passion place? Some relationships rise, some fall. You want one that rises. And the secret to a relationship that rises mm -hmm. lies in those five forms That's of right. intimacy. Do you have to have all of them? No. Okay. But it's important that you have the ones that fit. It has to be about you. How well do we line up? If I don't need those things and you don't need those things, then we're great. But if I need them and you can't meet that need, now we have an issue. And do we figure out how to do that with each other or do we now have to go out and bring other folks into our relationship?